We are here. We're fucking. We made it to Patreon, dudes. This is awesome. Yeah, this, this is, is the best. Too fucking sick, man. I'm trying to remember what I wanted to bring up to you guys. It'll come. It'll pop. It'll pop up. It's giving me a stomach ache. Yeah. It'll pop, dude. I had a. I had a the most. I was so charged up on the way over here. It was. It like almost scared me personally. I was wildly charged up. You're too hyped up on the sauce. Yeah, I was. I was way too hyped up on the sauce. I. I, I was sitting there. I had my vape pen that I brought from Vegas. Uh, I love it. It's like, like a flat one of those like cool looking flat ones. I'm like, I finally have one of these. I've always seen people have them. <laughs> Pumped up, I have a cool looking <laughs> flat vape pen. Nice. <laughs> yeah. nice so I'm about cool to leave. Weed. So, dude, I'm about to leave, and uh, and Brittany just like fucking with me. Oh, you gotta do stoner dads. You're not gonna hit your vape pen, and I was just like, Pfft. and I just chiefed it so hard, right? In, like, I don't know why. I wish I, I wish I didn't have that in me, but I was like, I have to hit this as hard as humanly possible. <laughs> Chief that, dude. And it was like nothing. This shit doesn't even affect me anymore. And I was like, just sitting there, like, I must just be completely on another metal, like le uh, level mentally. And I just go down, I'm like, I need my latte, dude. I'm on my full basic bitch setup. <laughs> Vape pen, latte. <laughs> and I'm fucking, I'm, I just, I'm no, there's no more powerful I can be than that. Yeah, what were you listening to in the car, Britney? No, it wasn't Britney, bitch. It was, uh, what, the, what if, what was I listening to? I don't know. To be honest, I honestly don't know. Was it Christina Aguilera? It wasn't Ag either. Mm. It wasn't, it wasn't, it's Britney, bitch. It wasn't Christina Aguilera. But dude, I was. Yeah, you know what I can't get down with though is Kylie Minogue. Yeah, Kylie Minogue, yeah, for nasty. sure. Kylie Mo Kylie Minogue's nice. Who's your favorite female diva, Sid? Uh, current diva, like new age diva. I don't even really know who's current. I kind of checked out a while ago. I checked. What, yeah, I, what, yeah, I, what, I, you, what did you think of Gwen Stefani when No Doubt was around? I mean, she was that bitch. Yeah, you like Gwen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked her. Uh, Wait, is she bananas? B a n a. Yeah, yeah. that was her. That Asian was late lady stage. Yeah, yeah, that was like she Asian was on her way out at that point. I was after okay. she she actually didn't that she was ill advised. The ch the Japanese girl era was that was a good era of I, that was I, a good era. I people hated it. Me I personally, it. I thought okay, this is fun for a while. I I, but I people said we're done with you after that. I understood that's what was in her. She kind of tried sure. to be the white Missy Elliott for a second there. Okay, I think she went for it. She flew too close to the sun. The big gigantic Wait, who, butt, dude. Who was that? Uh, Gwen Stefani tried to, I think, be okay. the white Missy Elliott. Yeah, I like. I bit. thought Kylie Minogue was hot as fuck. She was hot. Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, so you you're talking about Kylie. Okay, so you don't have a you don't have an opinion on modern day divas, pop I, I, divas. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's like I like anything that makes you move. So I I fuck with it all. You like them all. You ever fuck with Taylor Swift? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've ever fucked her. I think she's someone who has those songs. Like if I, dude, I'm shake, like, I don't shake know it off songs. will be seen as right, an American the, classic someday for sure. That's that'll be the yeah twist. If there's and any shout. justice in the world, that'll be a twist <laughs> and shout, <laughs> twist and shout of our time, dude. Have you encountered any like twist, like old music in the wild? Uh, I mean, I've been to a lot of family parties. I'm, I was like in a store. I was food shopping oh, recently, and I they, was. They were saying, "Come on, let's twist again." Yeah, dude. Like and I was that's so crazy. Tempted to just fucking. I was so tempted to start doing the twist. I don't know if it. I could simultaneously hear that song and smell the pharmacy aisle of a CVS. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like that would. Those would be too just similar <laughs> enough to cause like a. Uh, it would tear you apart. It would be too dissonant, and it would shred me. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> I was in the grocery store. They started hitting us. Let's twist again. I was everything in me from not fucking spinning on my one foot. Oh, man, up man I, have a, I have a dancing grocery store. People will be dancing in my grocery Where? It's in uh in my hometown, my town. Okay. Yeah, people just like fucking cut it up. Like when the, when a, when something hits, like if if Britney hits, you walk first of all, you walk by everybody singing. Like, really? Yeah, dude. It's it's a very fun vibe because it's like uh, it's one of these grocery stores that everybody hits like right after work uh -huh. because it's like in this like the, the across of two main roads, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, everybody's just happy to be home. They got food in their hand. People are just bopping to Britney, dude. It's crazy. No one speaks English. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Wow, this is a great song, guys. Yeah, I see bread. I'm buying some bread. <laughs> I have an entirely different picture. Do you know what I meant to say? You know what I meant to say? I couldn't believe you guys are doing that to me, uh, not on the Patreon. Uh, you do for free? Are we you supposed to contain this on the Patreon? <laughs> I'm supposed to keep it on the Patreon? How's your week been since Sorry, last week? How's it been since last week? Uh, what do you mean? Since you declared war on the haters. <laughs> what's the... What's the <laughs> Can you give oh. us a report from the front? Yeah, I haven't been checking it out. There you go. Oh, Perfect. No, 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 no. Perfect. No, I just no, no, no. I did, I did. Do after I said I couldn't be crushed again. Yeah, I got God again. No, oh, here, dude, he Say got me. me. I didn't know, dude. <laughs> I mean, you did set yourself he, up. I, I did, but I didn't even think. 
this, this person's putting in thought, dog. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. In thought. So, uh, again, got to give it up to him. <laughs> so this is what he did. He said, uh, Sydney has such a massive ego, period. His mother was right about him. Uh, <laughs> like, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. damn, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that's a dark message, God man. Damn. Wow. That had to be tough yeah, for you. Can see, you can see the comedic effect. Uh, yeah. Sydney's appreciating the comedic effect. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was funny. perfectly crafted. That's in terms funny. Of being a negative <laughs> comment. That was like. Damn. That's a high level. That's, that's a high level Reddit tour. That knives out. Yeah. And you have to give it off to him. You, you gotta, gotta do. You yeah. gotta. Yeah. That's, that's, there is, there is a, uh, a bit of a physics and a poetry to that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's kind of. It's like, oh, he's been paying attention for a while. Yeah, yeah. Like, this could be going back to like an episode I did of Are You Garbage? He's plugged in. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's plugged in. It's like, holy shit, thank you for the support of all the He's in the switcher board. He's on the switcher yeah. board. Just fucking. Yeah. And got, it's like, dude, got him. B7, F5, got him. Dude, he's, he's pulling information <laughs> Battleship. from. Battleship. Dad, me. He's pulling information from. Dude, he's pulling. Everywhere I am, he's pulling information from it. That's put bad. That together. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, my hat's off, sir. Yeah. Or yeah. man. No, no that's a guy. That's it was guy. funny. It was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny on the internet. It was a guy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't think girls know how to do chats. Like funny comments. Funny comments. Yeah, I don't think they're they're they, they they're, do like they're, dude, they're decades LOL. behind in the arms race. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> they hit the they hit the comment section with just like like nine emojis and like dude, a twinkle star. The the same fear that men have that women will cheat on them, women have for their boyfriend destroying them online. True. That's the end game where they're just like, imagine if he destroyed me online. You could do it so easily. Imagine if he owned me. <laughs> I would, I should, that's something I regret about me. Just, I don't like take it. There's people who are like having the experience of bringing all of their relationship problems online. Mm. Mm. That's got to be fun. Oh, just sit there in a parking lot and just fucking write up the most damning dude, expose of your wife for Facebook. <laughs> knowing a dude that was like yeah. sitting in his car typing like, yeah, I've made mistakes, but I vow now and forever to be a better man. And I know I can show this. <laughs> Send. Yeah, dude. And like three of your aunts are like, you'll get it. We're you here for this. you, bro. Yeah, well, you got this. You got this, man. And your fucking babe sees that and she's like, fuck, dude. It's, yeah. all, it's all in her friend's DM. Her like, oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see that? She's like, I can't deny him, dude. I can't deny him. <laughs> she sends like a love conquers all Google image on her. <laughs> they move forward with a joint Facebook account. Dude. I've only I've known two people with joint G, uh, JFB. Oh, dude, seeing an update from Steve and Jen. It's like one word, Steve and Jen, that kind of thing. I always assumed that those dudes were just guys who got caught cheating on their wives. They had too much fun. I think once you said, get caught. Nope. Yep, that's the uh, that's the mandate of the of the new vision. Once you get caught cheating, oh my God. it's very possible for them to be like, "All right, dude, here's what you're wearing, and join Facebook. Let's go." <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I hired those marriages are like North Korean prisons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're you're being reconditioned every day to yeah. just be a fucking fat, useless <laughs> pussy. <laughs> yeah, for real, because you were a bad boy. Yeah, they'll get you. That's what yeah. you get, dude. They'll get you. It's, it's You're on the like, chain gang forever. Zero, pumpkin yeah. patch profile pic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's when your yeah. hair starts falling out. That's when your hair starts falling out and your sunglasses get weirder. Mm. <laughs> you either go full wraparounds or like bizarre like metal frame shapes. Getting busted is not. Uh, that can't be fun. Yeah, it can't be fun. Yeah, I dude, that's one thing I'm glad that I did is I, I, I moved past the cheating life before I got into like the yeah. internet culture, social yeah. media lifestyle. Well, you got out ahead of it. That's a whole different thing. Dude, it, it, if it, you get out ahead of it, you can, you can kind of choose your own path. Yeah. You get cold busted. Then you go to the fucking babe labor camp. <laughs> you're on the chain gang. <laughs> 10 years hard labor. <laughs> Yeah, see that? Uh, yeah, Broadway on ice. Ten years. <laughs> Broadway on ice. Uh, <laughs> the musical. <laughs> Brother-in-law's barbecue. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that's just a tucked-in golf shirt. Yeah. Beard oh, and chest is being like, God damn it. Dude, those fucking pajama Christmas pictures. Oh, dude, tell, oh. telling your boy to make your picks for you at the fantasy draft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't call him, dude. I'm in the doghouse. Well, she scheduled a painting with a twist that night, so I got to stay home with her daughter. Oh. 
Yeah, oh. I told well, I told her that we couldn't change the date. She she still did it. So I don't know, man. She's just such a fucking bitch. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get out ahead of it, you can be like, I did this, but I'm still you're still kind of in control of the situation. But when you get busted and they get to like, because they get to scare you with like, they hit you before you can come to them, and it's just a totally different thing. Oh, like you talking about like sitting at the sitting at the kitchen table waiting for you in the dark. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just such, it, it literally is such a jolt that it determines the next like seven years of your life. Yeah, yeah. I saw this happen before. When Dude, I, did yeah, you? I, I think I, I think I was wait to you or you watched no, it happen no, no, to no, a bro. No. I saw it happen to like adults when I was younger, and I, yeah. was, I witnessed it from like a child perspective to like other adults that I knew whose house I would frequent that I would go. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! From a young age, I got to go. No, thank you to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At that point, it's like, bro, I did. I was. A, I did a bad thing, but I'm not signing up for that. That's <laughs> yeah. 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 That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's that's a crazy life, man. Yeah. Because the thing is, is like the the terrible thing it is is like the the person probably like you genuinely get, wants to like be like, all right, I want to do the right thing. But then their brain gets hijacked by the bed. They they fully they hand it over. They he, turn off. They power down. Mm -hmm. And it's like no, bro, you shouldn't totally power down. You just make a minor adjustment. It's like having to blow into your car to start it for your brain. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fucking eat your wife's shit oh. to be able to access your brain. Eventually, you just go into complete autopilot. You yep. let, you let your boss be mean to you and shit at work. Yeah. Screensaver just comes on. The screensaver comes on for you <laughs> and just comes on. And you go well. Yeah. Another day, another dollar. Dude, there needs to be some sort of <sighs> recovery nice. for these types of dudes. Hmm? Huh? There needs to be some sort of recovery for these types well, of dudes. Well, there, dude, dude, there was a there was a guy that I met at Skankfest. He came up to me and Mary Joe, and he was like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, he introduced himself and he said he he liked our shit and stuff like that. And I was like, "Hey, it's nice to meet you, man." He was like, "Hey, so I came here alone. I I broke up with my girlfriend because of you." And I was like, "Whoa, what?" Yeah. He was like, "Yeah, you were talking about how like if you have like a bitch wife or like that like you have to cut that out as soon as possible. Like you're ending a bad relationship." Mm -hmm. So I broke up with her. She w she didn't let me come here last year. Oh. Now I'm here, and he was like so thankful. You freed a bro. He was so, bro. This is my first confirmed save. Can you believe it? What? I I reached down and I pulled him out of the well. <sighs> Isn't that the coolest shit you ever heard, dude? That's crazy. That's that's one that's, that's one confirmed that's like getting redemption. a dude out of Guantanamo. That's, dude, that, that's the first of many, dude. I'm pulling the bros. I'm yeah. I'm, that's a black ops. Mission. I'm gonna start killing Truly. bitch wives. Yeah, metaphorically, in a symbolic way. I'm going to be a bitch wife serial killer. Damn. <laughs> oh man, that's a nice thing. That's a good thing to do. That's part world. of the reason I bring MJ to all this shit because yeah. I like she has so much fucking fun with me. Yeah. I'm like, yo, look how fucking sick this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the funnest shit ever. Yeah. yeah, man, dude, that's uh, yeah, it's it's crazy too because uh, and when I when I say some sort of recovery for these dudes because you don't want this, you can you can easily turn a good chick into a bitch if you allow if you allow the behavior. She's yeah, she's also to, in bitch prison. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. true, yeah, true. So it's like you know you gotta you gotta know how to not do that. Well, dude, this is this is what I was just thinking. I I, I you brought you made me remember this, but it's like. There are people who get defeated by their own, like completely defeated by their own thoughts to where it's just like, yeah, dude, you know what? I am a loser. I'm accepting this like negative thing. This thing that I could recognize as a negative thought pattern, I've finally given up and accepted it as my reality. And if your bae does that, she will take you down with her. And vice yeah. versa. If you're a dude and you do that, you can totally bring people down. Dog, so when, being like, join me. When we were doing, when we were, many of uh, we were recovering from like the unfolding of all the cheating and shit. Mm -hmm. Like one of the, when we're just like, behaviors you can cut out behaviors that you can't cut out right mm -hmm. and it was like i see guys in a situation where they try to act like they're not attracted to other women at all yeah you know and it's like well i can't do that for sure like i if, if i see something walk by i have to be able have to. you you've really seen dudes act like they don't oh my god i've yeah. seen the opposite i've always seen dudes being like damn. dude <laughs> i <laughs> <laughs> you never that's all I've ever seen. I've never, never seen a married dude that that tries to act like he's not I mean, infatuated by the ass. I don't want to sink the bro shift right now, but no. <laughs> like, no. Everyone shit. I don't know anyone who won't be like nice. Just fist bump over, just some strange. Just be like, yo, nice. Okay. It's nothing like crazy. It's yeah. just being like, dude, can we please acknowledge this, babe? And just keep it pushing. Yeah. Yeah, you can't build up sexual tension around your boys. You shouldn't. You gotta you shouldn't. 
lo- yeah, blow the whistle. They're, they're, but I, I believe you that type of dude exists, but yeah, no, not, I don't think... very uncomfortable people. To be like, I don't, I don't even see that. Yeah, but again, again, it's like these people are trying to recover from cheating. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're like, okay, so I'm going to fucking overcorrect and pretend like I don't see it at all. And then they'll do that for a while. And then they go to Vegas and see a showgirl and then lose all their money. <laughs> or Wait, $22. You, <laughs> I was just going to say, are you talking about yourself? I thought you were doing that on purpose. Yeah. I thought you were doing that as a joke on purpose. I was like, I was like, Sid, that was a funny joke. I genuinely, I was like, damn, Sydney, nice one. In my head, you let that go. Oh, and I'm like, Good jokes. I have 11 more dollars in my Venmo if you want me to send you that. <laughs> Did you not mean to describe yourself? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, I was just using oh an easy God. reference. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> I know. So I was like, dude, that was funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying. You know, it's like they, you something will like all of a sudden you just break one, at one point. Yeah, I know. You know? I trust. It's me, like uh, <laughs> you actually know yeah. you're like, I only got twelve bucks on me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a fan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, oh my god! You, you literally placed a T and put a ball on the top. I'm not afraid of home runs. Oh, dude! Main, oh main! You're truly not. Yeah, I, I mean, isn't that what's important for a podcast called Stoner Dads? <laughs> <laughs> so these that's so wild man. i'm still trying to wrap my head around dude just being like i don't care yeah do i had it had a I had his name in my i had his like and, and when you said no i was like well how did you not uh you're gonna bitch dox a dude i was i was gonna try to don't do that uh, bro yeah he needs your help not your scorn not public no, scorn no, no, I, and people are gonna start to... sending him death threats for being a homo <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, yo, stop being fucking gay around Sydney, dude. We'll kill you. I still have I still have He's PTSD. gonna have to delete his OnlyFans. Dude, I have PTSD around the possibility of being called pussy whip that like it fucks me up Ooh. in life. It kills me, dude. Ooh. There's stuff I'll be yeah. like, no, absolutely not. And she's like, why? And I'll think about it. I'm like I'm having like a high school fucking fever dream right now. I'm like, I'm not fucking put I'm not a bitch, I'm yeah. pussy whip. Yeah. It's like could I face my bros with that? Yeah. I suffer from that still. Damn. Yeah, I've gotten over a lot of it, but there was a lot of me that was just like, like, dude, if I'm sitting there and it's like, there's a purse I have to carry, I'll be like, like, just hold it for two seconds. Part of me is like, it's like, just, just hold it. It's fucking, it's a bag. Yeah. Hold it for your wife. And I'll be like, uh, can you set that down? And I, I'll start to spin out. Now I'm like, dude, I don't give a fuck. But I used to like, really be like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's retarded. It's so dumb. It's, I'm like, this. I'm not a girl. Dude, I, That's like I, a Boy Meets World character. I know. I, know. <laughs> I, know. I just got over it. Like, crazy. In like my mid-30s. I was like, yeah, whatever. It's just a fucking person. I have bigger things to think about. But I'd be like, uh, right now? Like, then I'd try to like hold it as high up as possible. Like, maybe that's just his bag. <laughs> All the, I like wrap the chain around my hand. Like, like brass knuckles, dude. Fucking <laughs> guy's probably got to kick someone's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Probably has a fucking like flash drive that the Russian government wants in a fucking <laughs> purse. I guess someone would call that a purse. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. I just got over that. Uh, congratulations. On thank that. you. Thank you. Thank you. Way to go. Appreciate that. Oh, wow. But yeah, that was a uh, dude. I'm I'm completely geeked right now on a. Uh, I'm reading this book called Passion of the Western Mind, and it goes through a guy spent ten years researching the evolution of thought. And worldviews from ancient Greece all the way to modern modern day times. I think he, he like wrote it in like the nineties. Mm. It's pretty sick. What's so it called? Passion of the Western Mind. So he's like the he followed like the Western like philosophical tradition all the way from like twenty five whatever it was like twenty five hundred years ago. Is Greece. that when all of philosophy started, or is that where it just made sense sense to start from? Uh no I don't well there's still, there's a lot of like Asian philosophy stuff I meant Western yeah yeah Western yeah, yeah. I yeah. think it did I, I think, I think it, like, did he have to choose a cutoff point like okay they were trying to think but not really getting so, anything done let's dude, start here he started in ancient Greece when it was like the there was like the it was the mythic worldview mm-hmm. where like you would come outside and be like you'd see the sun and that was like a that was a being like yeah. you were just like oh shit and you'd like jump off the log thinking the sun was like nice dude 
And he's like, let me show out in front of the sun right now. And he was fucking like, I cr- still act that way. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. haven't we haven't completely erased the mythic. We're like, yeah. we have we're hardwired for the yeah. mythic worldview. It's called doing tricks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sun, uh, dude. Definitely saw that. <laughs> but there was dudes who were like that's how they viewed the world. It was the mythic worldview. <clears throat> the entire yeah. world was enchanted as like they were just everything like the pl- like planets would pop up in the sky and they were all entities. There's nothing stopping you from living that way now. No, I, it, I mean completely possible. Adopting the mythic worldview would be kind of sick. Uh, yeah, it is tough though. It's tough. I mean that's, that's a lot. I've of genuinely it's, tried this. It's gratitude. Why wouldn't you do it? You know, it's tough to get into sun worship, but then you have this like you ha- you have this. But other- it's not specifically the sun. Everything's got its own value. For sure. But I'm saying if I'm going to start somewhere, I'm going to start some, me personally, I'm starting sun worship. If I'm going to try to get into the Greek pantheon, I'm starting probably sun or you're, you would just start assigning the like value to everything. Yeah. I gotta get, I gotta do a little bit of everything. Gotcha. You yeah. know, I think I build up a pretty, when you see me appreciating any one thing, you go, Whoa, all right. For a guy that does everything, it's pretty surprising that he's doing that, that well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be into like the trees and shit. Okay. Like, okay. He's really giving it up to the trees. Swag. I'd be giving it up to the mountains. And you'd be like, damn, he's also really giving it up for the mountains. How would you give it up, I'm saying? I don't fucking know, dude. That's I'd, what I'm saying. I'd just be there. I'd True. be there, <laughs> I mean, putting it in there. That's all. Yeah, yeah it be- seems like a very festive way to live. Like, you it give is, it up for yeah. war, just in general. Just like, fuck with war. Well, that's, you're talking about, you, you said there was the gratitude thing. And that was the, that was like what a lot of the Greek tragedies were warning against. For dudes being like, Nah, I'm, this is all me. I'm doing this. And they're like, bro, you better give it up to fucking Athena, dude. Yeah. Don't be a dumbass. Like, if you got in, like, a, if your ship crashed into the rocks and you survived, there'd be, it was like the Greeks considered it a great personal tragedy to be like, nice, that was all me. If you didn't get up right now, I'd be like, oh my God. Dude, you better shout The out gods Mercury. had favored Shout me. out Mercury real quick. Yeah, they'd be like, if you didn't do that, they're like, your life's going to end terribly. Yeah. If you think you're in, tr- if you think you're in control. But what they, in the book, they talked about how they, the whole, like the Greek civilization was a, they like, the philosophers severed the ties to the mythic vision. So that was like, they, they the one guy just came outside and was like, looked at the sun and was like, yo, I'm pretty sure that's a heavy rock that's really hot. I would have killed him. Dude. I would have smashed his head with the biggest <laughs> thing I could have talking about the Copernican up. Revolution. Oh, right, right. Dude, but this guy. Oh, I would have been on the wrong side of but it. This dude, but this dude. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I would have been like, shut the fuck up, dude. Get the fuck out of here. I know. Stop. He'd be like, you're wrong. I'd be like, am I? And I'd be picking up the heaviest log near me, and I'd smash his head. Dude, but the, basically the, the guy was talking about how it was like a, a series of being like, yeah, dude, it's basically Teletubby son. We're like, yeah, Teletubby son, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like this fucking rules, and then someone was like, "I'm pretty sure this is like a big ass rock or something." And the guy called back then. He goes, "And the moon is also a rock that's just reflecting light from the sun." This was a dude in like fucking. Damn. I would have. I would have s- smashed his face so that his <laughs> eyeballs fell out. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. I would have driven his face no, into a rock. They're married and they love yeah, each yeah, other, yeah. dude. Yeah. Don't ruin this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the they're yeah. tragic lovers yeah, who are always bipolar. This They'll is why no one wants to hang out with you. Yeah, talk about the sun being a Get hot rock. Get off my fucking farm, Fuck dude. You, dude. It's not a hot rock. It's my friend. Yeah, yeah I would make my horse kick him to death. <laughs> Sid, I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> was that what were you saying? Uh, what was I saying? You said who the fuck knows? Know. Yeah, no, it was all it was all jumbled in there purposely. I Gosh, think yeah. perfectly. So you're talking about the Western passion it starts with the Dude. mythic worldview. So the mythic worldview, and then it starts getting severed by these dudes being like, "Yeah, I don't really know," and they start like postulating different theories. They Fucking find out losers. Find out about math. Dude, these guys the unlocked geometry, sick. and we're like, "What the fuck, dude?" They're like, "This shit's talking to us now." They fully thought that was like language, the language of the, the mythic of beings. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, but yeah. talking to them, but they it, were like, but it is right. I mean, bro. I'm 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 all no. ancient Greece right now. But how is it not? I think no. I think math is something that we kind of made up in the context of where we are. I think it all happens to work out. Yeah, but they were talking about like geometry and shapes and how you like all the shapes yeah. have properties, and they're like, dude, it's talking to us. Like, I dude, think in the grand scheme of the universe, I think I think the the mathematics that that we have access to explain almost nothing in the grand scheme. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. But it's a taste. We got it. That's that's how these guys were coming. A taste from. of the infinite. <clears throat> Yes, we got to take that's that and these guys were geeking out on like stuff like that And they started just being like just completely they're they were just like dude We're not gonna believe anything that we can't see and like touch. Yeah, like everything I'm going but I'm saying I'm going back to that now that now that we mythic vision Are you gonna go? 
I'm going become a sophist. I'm going mythic vision, and then if if something isn't proven to me in real life soon, I'm going to start getting skeptical. Yeah, that's a sick move across the board. Well, that's so. Then so here's what happened this, in the book so far. So every, the mythic vision starts to fall. The life, the world becomes slightly less enchanted, although it still was for the ancient Greeks. But then the there's these guys called the sophists who were basically took it to like the uber extreme. They were like Sam Harris level mm. of just being like I can't. No, like fully materialistic they came up with fucking atoms back then you know mm-hmm. i didn't know that yeah dude the theory of atoms goes back to ancient greece i thought that I was know. like 1950 i don't know how much i believe the theory of atoms bro well i think they can zoom in i think that's one you can verify but again it's like what you're saying like what they are yeah i mean you could contest the theory of atoms uh, let me say me let me say right now i do i do what do you think the theory of atoms i'll come up with something you don't think so <laughs> i think stuff is just stuff what do you think about that that's fair it's not all one thing just arranged <laughs> in different ways. It's, it's all made of tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tree, yeah. Yeah. Your tree particles. <clears throat> I think real life is more like Minecraft than real life. Yeah. Where stuff is made. You get sticks to make a thing. That's uh-huh. all. That's yeah. all stuff is. This is how do particles form a stick? This is, this yeah. temu- the <laughs> temulation what? theory. This, yeah. this is the unchecked question. It's like, well, what are the forms that put material into specific things? For sure. I understand what saying, you're saying. You have, I, the physical, you have the physical material, but then there needs to be some yeah. sort of it's the code. force or I get, something. I hear you, and I understand your concern, and let me tell you that every day we are working on this, and we're not there yet, but we see a bright future. <laughs> we'll never get theory. there. <laughs> Matt? You think so? Are you so you're are you here to mock us at our own conference? No, 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 no. Are you a heckler now? No, I'm not. That's the story of what you don't believe in the research. That's fine. That's why we're doing it. Yeah, we're working on it. Oh, we are working on it, but we're trying to figure out what stuff is made of. I know we can't (laughs) figure it out, dude. We no one knows. Other stuff, it's other stuff. We just need more time and money. And if you pull the plug on this now, it'll be the biggest mistake of your career. If we just gave up on stuff, yeah, if you gave up on what what stuff was, (laughs) I'm pretty sure they could quietly and still get billions of dollars, but yeah. She don't know what stuff is, but guys, let me tell you something about black holes. Turns out there's infinity of them. They'd be like, whoa, cool. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here's $10 billion. Black holes are full of anti-stuff. And people are like, whoa, whoa does this tell, any- tell us anything about real stuff? What happens to time in them? It explodes. Thank you. <laughs> we think. It might, might not. It might not exist in there. We don't Can really stuff fucking exist know. without time? For sure, bro. You're about to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about the good, true, and the beautiful, dude. Okay, so we go from so mythic thinking to... <laughs> mythic thinking, but then the sophists who are just basically just kind of like, bro, like, get me. out of here with that bullshit. Yeah, show me state. We're all show me state. Mm-hmm. You know, like, get out of here. And the, at that time, they started being like, they just wanted to know how things were made or, you know, like, how can I just A to B? How can I just affect, like, a very... Like let's start writing the change. textbook on life. Everything became uh, relevant or relativistic, where it was just like, well, what's good, what's bad, and they they got to the point where it's kind of like we are now, where they're just like, yeah, you can't really say it's just like all up in the air, nothing means anything. It's the beginning of the playbook, nothing matters. Yeah, and then apparently in Athens, like there started like the government started to become totally corrupt, and there was like it was just became like a bad place um, because they lost. They lost magical the, thinking. They lost magical thinking. I agree. So the place became everyone was like, "Fuck yeah, dude, we know so much." And then the place like it started to suck. Could you imagine like it's like Disney World without the whimsy? Like ancient Greece has these beautiful buildings that were made to honor these gods. Yeah, and all of the vibe is about the, the like the enchantment of the gods. Well, dude, guess how sick this was. So during this period when they're having this renaissance or this like explosion of rational thinking, <laughs> they erected more monuments to the gods yeah but they would throw in these like weird geometrical twists that like you had to know like have advanced understanding of geometry like sick map. You'd have so to there are the things for the map. gods with the modern spin on it was like yo but like that's really a thing to geometry yeah like, they're, how they're sick that shit theorems is. they're proven theorems yeah they're just yeah. like dude look at the fucking geometry on that and people are like dude i fucking i'm so pumped on geometry <laughs> like that shit rules so fucking hard dude. man they that was probably around the time they invented fucking homework yeah what a bummer. We still pretty much have a Greek education. That's where like all the subjects come from. Mm. Pretty nuts. But dude, the uh but yeah, then Socrates came along. Because it was like the dudes just went too far and Socrates, dude, just might be the coolest dude ever. What do you mean they went too far when Socrates? They just they, they just completely abandoned all the aspects of the mythic vision. They were like, Yeah, that stuff's stupid. But then the society Wait, Socrates brought that back? Yeah, and really what? Yeah, dude. But with, really... with science as well, though. Yes, exactly. Like he brought him. He, 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 like inter- he intertwined him. And then they killed him. That's where genius <laughs> they is created. Him, yeah, they yeah. killed him. So he completely synthesized the two world views. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty sick. He had a... Uh... This, is, this is when, like, the secret society started to become, like, important. Yeah. Well, that that's the... Uh... 
Yeah, they had like the Eleusinian mysteries or whatever. But the they, Rosicrucians? Yeah, they had a lot of that stuff. But the thing is with Socrates, he was such a sick dude, he didn't write anything down. Off so the he top. never oh, wrote right. the top. Which yeah. put him in contention, by the way, for sickest dude ever. Yeah, yeah. right, 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 right. Only reason we know about him is as a student, Plato was like, yo, let me tell you about this sick ass fucking guy. He all in one he take. Kept all of his homework. Yeah, kept all he kept all of his stuff. He's like, this dude fucking ruled. And all, all he would do is it sounded pretty annoying, but like anytime he talked to him, he would just go, How do you know that? And he'd be like, Well, it's you go, know, what's that mean? And he'd and every one every conversation he had, both people would just walk away and just be like <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know even what they, he would just completely destabilize people. He'd just be like, Well, how do you know this? Well, how do you know that? Prove that. And they'd all just be like, uh 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 and he, he was just kept doing he was the one who was like, yo, this is how you go. And he was Whoa. like, I'm an idiot. He came out and was like, I'm a dumbass, and you guys are all dumbasses too, and you're all just making stuff up. And he sat and he thought and he just would shred these dudes. Ooh, these imagine days. imagine the rivalries between dudes that were just like speaking about thought at the time. You'd be like, uh, I want more people to come over to where I'm standing. Dude, that and that they talked about that in the book. They said how uh, that became the only like it became all about per, uh, professional advancement and sick oration skills. So you had it like whoever could be like, and therefore would be the coolest dude. Oh. So you'd have to like majestically stand in town hall and just be like, I think the sun's actually a hot ball of lava. It was a white black preacher contest. It was. <laughs> it was. You just walk out and just fucking just be like. What a beautiful day. Mm. Did you, did you, are you saying the Greeks invented? Mm -hmm. They might have, dude. They genuinely might have. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he came around and he was like, dudes, I, forget, I, I still can't really wrap my head around it, but he was like, you'll never get to the truth of things, but there are transcendent values that go outside of all of space and time that completely can like, you can contact them by living just totally true to yourself. He, get, he looked at all philosophy and he was like, the only thing I care about is figuring out how the best way to live. He's like, you can live yourself into a euphoric transcendental Same. state. Kind of. He was like, you can contact. Well, here's a cool, here's a cool thing. So he was like, you could contact like absolute truth, but you can only do it. It's like that exists outside of human conceptions. That was his whole like advancement to philosophy. He was like, there's eternal principles that like we kind of, that shape our behavior and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, so he eventually got put to death because they were saying he was corrupting the youth because he was telling them, like, dude, if someone says something to you, be like, how do you know that? And they'll most likely have no idea what the fuck they're saying. <laughs> and dudes were like, fuck you, dude. Don't do that shit. And we don't want to have those conversations. So they put him to death. And they were like, they, they gave, like you got to drink hemlock. It was a poison. And apparently during that time, they said it was very common. Like, you didn't want to kill these guys and make them into martyrs. So you'd be like, or you can, you know, you can just like leave forever. And he's like, nah, I'm, I'm going to drink the hemlock. They're like, all right, all right, all right. Or like just go to jail, or and then he was like, "No, I'm drinking this fucking hemlock." And he was like, "Because I'm honest and I'm true to myself, and I'm contacting truth." Like, and he drank the fucking hemlock. Like, or we could just Whoa. let you go and give you a reprimand. It's like, nah, dude, dog, nope. hemlock, yeah. dude. Yes, and he goes, and I'm going to, and they're like, going to have to kill me, dude. And he, and he was like, they were like, "Well, you're going to die." He's like, "No, dude, I'm contacting eternity." Chugs hemlock, and then just became like a famous dude for all of time. Whoa. Yeah. So he, through his own life, actually con like contacted a transcendent value. Whoa. Dude, it fucked me up last night. Damn. And the so what they said the sophists did is they eventually undermined their own feet with like they use all these rational things to the point where they just like basically cut their own legs. Wait, off. wait, like, what, what was that guy's name on? again? Socrates. So that's what Socrates did that. He's Socrates the man, hemlocked bro. himself. He's the fucking man. Yeah. I was reading about that last night and like, dude. It's That's so funny because I'm reading about this shit and like Brittany will start to like talk to me and be like, you know, you left your socks on the thing. And I'm like, Brittany, don't fucking bring socks. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Socrates contacted a transcendent value. You're like, please, please just take a second before I hear about my yeah. fucking socks. I'm Damn. talking ancient Greece right now, Brittany. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. I'm like, dude, I'm talking about the Platonic ideals, dude. Just give me two seconds. It's so sick yeah. to read about those dudes arguing. I love that stuff. I mean, do you think people were even with it enough when Socrates took the hemlock to be like, oh, fuck, he just did it? Dude, I think they were aghast because the whole, what he was saying is the whole, the book was saying the whole society was becoming based on like purely propelling yourself forward to greater and greater status and material success. Mm -hmm. and Socrates was like, no, bro, that shit's cool and all, but dig, like tapping in truly to transcendent values. And then he was just like, no, I'm dying for philosophy. And people were like, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that guy ruled. Wow. That was like the coolest thing you could do back then. And then some dude like, was like. for your values? Dude, he didn't even write anything down. He was like, yeah, whatever. And then some dude was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta fucking write about this. That was the coolest shit I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs>
Pretty yeah. sick. That that is extremely tight stuff. Yeah, that was yeah. I was pumped on that last night. I was just like, damn. That's like chapter one. Is that where is that all you is that the furthest you've got so far? Mm-hmm. I'm only on chapter one. Damn. It goes it keeps going. Now who's the me. uh who's reading this audiobook? Uh it's well, I, I have the audiobook and I'm reading hard copy as well. Mm. So I've been going back and forth. I'm reading two of this guy's books right now at the same time. Dude, they're both so fucking sick. One of them he spent ten years researching, like basically the evolution of Western thought. Daunting task. And then he spent his next book he did, he researched astrology and sought out to prove that it like the cosmos have a definitive effect on people's temperaments and life path. And he said he studied th- I'm not I can't make any claims on it, I haven't read it, but he said he studied like thousands of people and he's found overwhelming truth. Is he trying to prove that basic bitches are right? He no, he 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 talks about basic bitch astrology. He's like, that's not the stuff. He's talking okay. about like geometrically, there's like a math involved and oh, I I I genuinely have no understanding. But he said it's a math and science. And it gives people, it'll give you your archetypal readout where it's mm. like, this most likely is you to some degree. So here's like your hardwired nature and you can figure out how to like wake yourself up from it and kind of like Damn. pursue from a, a more spacious awareness. We're not being propelled by. What do you think about that math, forces. Tim? Isn't it more likely that just like people born around the same time and especially in the same geographic location are going to have a lot of overlap in experience yeah kind like of, the same cartoons came out at the same that's what i'm saying yeah yeah but what if but, but what if they break down temperament I yeah ninja I turtles why that also experience. wouldn't be affected by the environment but if what if you're in the same environment and you have multiple temperaments so if someone's in one well, environment, I, I think there's enough variables inside of the environment to make accurate predictions as yeah, well. Yeah, because, sure. I'm, be, dude, I'm, again, I'm, because there's so many, so, so all of these options are available to different people. Like you, you know, some people watch Care Bears, some people watch this. The people that watch Care Bears are going to have a different temperament than the people that watch My Little Pony. You, do you know what I mean? So they can still be grouped together from experiences locally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or it could be the machinations of the cosmos <laughs> yeah. that's my favorite would, part of the book. that cosmos yeah i don't know i don't know he's claiming he's like bro i have i have i he's at least he's like i can make the case that it comes into play in a you would have to prove it cross-culturally i think my version mm-hmm. well <clears throat> yeah you, yeah for sure you'd have to my version yeah, of this yeah. is uh i think that you want to improve your position on the karmic wheel each go around till you get to the point where at the beginning of your life you get to do your own create a character you get to start, like you get to start focusing on like where your stats go and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm. That's what I'm living for. That'd be kind of sick. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be pretty tight. Yeah, you you really could. There's there's a world of insight you can give a child to like really help them. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Anthony yeah. was telling me she was reading a book about I think it was reincarnation and she was telling me the different cycles that you would go through and one of the last ones is you get to be in this like this library the library with like all of the information. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I remember it being equivalent to like the Akashic record. Yeah. And then when you're reincarnated, when you re- you reincarnate from the library, you get what Tim just described as like, you get to pick all your shit. You're the man, you know? And then your next one is into the enlightenment, Damn. Like into the ether. That's pretty tight. Yeah. And, Dude, have you guys ever read any Borges? Uh-uh. The, um, is he from Argentina? He's an Argentinian author and he like mastered magical realism or whatever. But he wrote a story about an infinite library where every possible piece of information is contained in the books and they're assorted randomly. And it's this like crazy, there's this crazy layout to it where it's like the, the, the library separated into these like, I think they're like hexagonal like rooms of books and like pathways between them and stuff like that. And people would spend their entire lives in there like eat, like trying to find their own death. Like trying to like, because that's contained in the book somewhere. Damn. And there would be like whole orders of people set on like finding a certain piece of knowledge. So they'd be like out searching the infinite library. It's it's probably not, it's probably easy to find online. And it's by uh, Jorge Luis Borges. Damn, and that sounds sick. Get mm-hmm. Yeah, get stoned and read that on your computer one night. It's it's like a short story. Oh, really? Yeah. The I, I forget what it's called. Something like the infinite library. Whew. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. That is fun. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. I, yeah, I was I was uh was pumped last night. It's pu- it's so nice to get pumped on ancient Greece. I, like late at night and then get out of the shower and stand at your extremely small flaccid penis. Dude, <laughs> and be like, dude, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. Uh, Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> mm. Yeah, knowledge is so fun. 
Yeah, it is. It's truly. Yeah. I'm always, I, I always laugh at the fact that uh, like the Muslims came up with algebra. Did they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those <laughs> it was, motherfuckers, dude. Yeah. It was like it was like sacred math at one point. Algebra. Yeah, like it's funny to me, like to think that the idea of like like that costs six dollars. I have two dollars. How much more do I need to get that? Was like sacred math at one point. Yeah, but algebra is they entered in the fucking letters, dude. That that's like magic shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that must like been solving great. for the unknown. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. might, that's now that I think about it. Like, <laughs> you, like the idea that you could do that mathematically blew people's mind at some point. Fuck, it is, is this all coming back to me? I took that for granted. I was like, dude, well, who cares? Yeah. This isn't even a real problem. It's the most used, it's the only math that you use going forward. So what's, what's one example that I don't remember algebra at all? Like, what do you do? X plus two equals three. Solve for X. X plus two equals three. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I try to pick the it's easiest. One. It's one. It's yeah, one. It's, one. it's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's algebra. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you I've, I'm so jealous of my brother right now because Tom's going to school for chemistry sick yes that's very awesome cool. dude I went to I went very back cool. to school as an adult as well and I loved it mm -hmm. so I really want to go I want to go back to school and learn geometry dude that would just get nasty at geometry yeah I wish I, I, I sometimes, or algebra something I'm terrible at that'd be dude, nice to go back and try Hansley to find is the sickest at algebra how dude dude she like her her dude she is in another dimension with math it's insane. Like when, when Tim was talking earlier about like how math doesn't prove anything, it's like, dude, I've seen some, cause there's a, so Ansley is like, again, super high level of math. And I know people where like there, there's a point where her math abilities stop and there are other people doing shit that she can't comprehend. Where it's just like that, I have no chance. There's like people who have their calculator said like E7, they'd be like, I know what that number means. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> dude. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's wild. It's <laughs> <laughs> they just like they plug it in. They like admire the equation, like just the elegance and beauty of this equation. I have none of that. Dude. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Just Sometimes I wish I had a formal beauty. education. Yeah. Just the elegance Dude, and beauty I of man, equation. getting sick at math and algebra and shit. I think you find fun as fuck. You're probably like, good at algebra. Are you good at algebra? Intuitive. I failed algebra too. No, dude, no. He is intuitive. Because I had mono. I had mono, so I, f I think I failed two classes because I was just sleeping through them every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's you strike not, me as a good algebra. Yeah, that's guy. not you not being so. good at it, though. Yeah, no, I don't know that I was very gifted in the, yeah. the mathematics. Or maybe not, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why I assumed you'd be decent I, at algebra. I think like, as an adult, you can go back and look at learning things a lot differently. Probably. You know, because a lot of times... Oh, yeah, learn, I'd be good at learning now. Yeah, yeah. I was real schmuck. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it was, it's a burden. You're being forced to learn this shit. Yeah, it's true. You'd much rather be doing anything else. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. It's a pretty. I think about it all the time. It's such a bad. I think school is dumb. Most so of what bad. I remember about high school. Again, again, I didn't go to college, and I didn't at the, at the time. I didn't really regret it, but I remember so much of just dealing with my teacher's personal issues. Yeah, in high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's most of that's most. When I think back to like being in class, uh, most of what I see is just like severely like deranged people barely keeping it together. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> it for real was. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, the personality I, is it's crazy. The level of like personality issues you take on from your teacher as like mm -hmm. a small child. I had a I had a teacher that openly hated on me in front of everybody at all yeah. times. And like any time, so I said something about it one time to her. And her whole thing was that, like, because of the popularity that I had, because I was such a, a good kid that I should have been able to take it. So so you're raising your hand. She goes, how about someone without an ego? And so it's like, oh, shit like that. Oh, sh oh, shit like that. Dude, when uh, so she purposely asked everybody to start telling everybody where, where college they, they were going to. <laughs> and everything, every time somebody says something, she was like, oh, good. Like, somebody would be like, Westchester, oh, my God, that's really good for you. I'm very proud of you. Uh, you know, somebody was like, well, I'm going to Monaco. It's like, well, you know, it's just awesome that you're continuing your education. You can do whatever you want from there. You can go into the job force and do whatever you want. Uh, another person would be like, like just, it was just like local, like I'm going to uh, Penn State Burst. Like, oh my God, that's so awesome. You know? And then I was, you know, it was me. It was like Lafayette. And she, she goes, I guess you couldn't got into a better school, huh? Whoa. Yeah. And then I was like, I laughed because. In the whole class, we all laughed because we thought the joke was like, oh, he's actually going to a good school. She's making a joke about it. And then she wasn't. She was like, my brother-in-law went there, had to transfer from, because it was it didn't have a good academic. It was just like, dude, she talked about it for like three minutes. Yeah. What the and, hell? And then I would have been like, well, that's why you're divorced. You should fucking kill yourself, you fat she pig. Was, she was an alcoholic. Yeah. And then, really? I, I would have yeah. crushed How'd you find out? Dude, 
because she drank in school. Oh God. Her coffee cup smelled like alcohol all the time. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I would and, catch a buzz at work if no one knew. Everyone knew. Well, if, <laughs> everyone. As knew. long as I thought no one knew, yeah. I would do it. So, God. and I'll never forget. So she, she does that little three minute talk about me. And then the next person, she goes behind me. She's like, what college are you going to? And it was her sinus. I was like, oh my God, that's such a good school. Dude, it was insane. It felt like I was in the Twilight Zone. Hmm. Damn. You had an alcoholic, mean teacher lady. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. me. I just had, we had two teachers start dating at our school. It was a bit of a scandal. I remember that. No one was happy for them to find love. In uh, their minds, they probably thought it was like a rom com. Well, the pr yeah, for sure. The rest of the school's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Well, the problem was there was this uptight social studies. Yeah. Team. Yeah. <laughs> she nah. was finally letting her hair down, <laughs> oh, dude. Something like this. She took only... her fucking glasses off, dude. <laughs> this could only occur in the English this department. <laughs> <laughs> this was the it's English free department, spirit guys. Science oh teacher. my god, yeah, this was the English. Oh, they department. were both English department. Like, both passionate, romantic. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my god. The problem was the teacher had the biggest tits. Like mm. she just taught and just had these huge tits. Dude. She did not hide at all. And so, like, dude, there's it. a lot of young bros who are just being like this, and once you got taken, we all were just going like, dude, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, we had a chance. What, yeah, like, we were all just kind of like, this fucking sucks. Dude, it was from it was someone from this school. We had a chance. But then you, you could see that teacher and be like, yo. And he'd be like, <laughs> still not, knock it off right now. That yeah, was kind of fun. Like, yo, yeah. dude. What them tits do. Uh-huh. Just being like, bro. You know, my brother's uh, Catholic school had a young lady teacher who a bunch of the dudes fucked. What? Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, I think she was like kind of busted, but acted very sexual around all the, the teen boys. Mm. It was an all boys Catholic school. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Remember, That's like. I can't remember her name, but it was legendary in the neighborhood. Yeah. We only had guy, like like male teacher on female student interactions. We didn't Yuck, dude. Cool. That's the bad oh, kind. Dude, the other yeah. kind is cool. We had, yeah, yeah, we had the worst kind. Of coin. That kind stinks. It's pretty pretty tragic and devastating. Well, yeah, it, to the whole community. It is crazy, though, to be like, there was a part of that lady's if personality. A, if a dude, if a boy fucks a teacher, he goes on to become a very successful local realtor. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. If a girl does it, it's like, man, I hope... I hope you make uh, your way past this someday. One of, yeah. one of, one of them went into <laughs> the army, and it turned. It seems like her life turned out pretty sick. That'll get if you got to join the army. That's like the only. She thing had to straighten up. Yeah, it's oh, the only thing man. you can do. Yeah, she needed a boot camp. It's pink. You turn into pink when you. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you fuck your yeah that is an option. <laughs> but when dudes do it, they develop a very good handshake and business skills. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's one of the unfair differences. Yeah, like a little, you always have a little cologne on your hand. <laughs> Hair's gelled. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that's uh, that's crazy, though, for a lady, because I'm, I'm sure she was just overwhelmed by the attention and was just like, I, this is good. I like this attention. You just start getting greedy for it. Next thing you know, you're like, yeah, I'll hang out. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just going to keep this going. That is crazy. She probably could not help herself. Dude, what? Wait, so here's are the, you talking about at North Catholic? Yeah. Okay, I know exactly. What you're <laughs> yeah. Is it? It's true, right? Absolutely, dude. It wasn't even like that well hidden. Like she hung yeah. out in the weight room. <laughs> yeah, dude. She was the boys' muse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, she she drove these boys athlete. nuts. She liked hunks. She made these dudes go fucking crazy, and dude. they would do wild shit. Yeah, with real, dude. How they would be frisbeeing textbooks left? across the room. They acted like total chimpanzees because of how fucking sexual this lady was. <laughs> and she fucked You can't blame them. No. Matt, dude, not. if that lady was watching me lift weights in high school, I'd be fucking just. <laughs> 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 It'd be crazy. I spazzed because she taught Spanish and I took French and they wouldn't let me transfer. Like, <laughs> oh, man. That's wild. <laughs> we had it. We had this Ar one. Dude, ours was so sad. Dude, yeah. one of the girls that hooked up with, uh, she was like, she hooked up with the teacher, and I don't know if, it ever, if it's ever concluded, but she allegedly hooked up with another teacher. Like, two teachers. Oh, the Jesus. Same She's a work slut. Wait, no, this wasn't, a, this was a, she was student. a student. Oh, oh. Student hooked up with oh, no. the teachers. She's, I mean, this is a regular slut. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's like big numbers though. Damn, imagine two dude fe uh, teachers feuding with each other over a student. <laughs> imagine how dark that is. Yeah, I well, mean, I guarantee one of them thought about killing the other one. <laughs> that's the ultimate feud for sure. <laughs> totally Shakespeare. It was a science teacher and the fucking algebra slash geometry teacher. <laughs> who won? Who won out? Which one of her rivals? The, the, won the out? confirmed. The confirmed was the science teacher. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other one, the geometry was the. Uh, Unconfirmed, but he he has access to secret math, so we'll, we may never know. True. 
Yeah, the only thing I ever, I, I didn't really have, the lady with the big tits in our, our high school was like, she rode the line, but she never really crossed it from anything that I knew. But we had another female teacher, a math teacher, who uh, who was actually like, a, she was pretty tall. She was, a, she was a, a larger woman. Not like, she wasn't like fat. She was just tall and kind of like really athletic. And she used to always wear skirts. And like, you would just, you would just see her underwear. And it was just kind of like, dude. Like, and she wasn't, they weren't like short skirts. They were like knee length dresses. They were totally appropriate, but she would sit and she had long legs. She was kind of like athletic, so she kind of Stop. spread them out. <laughs> right, chill, I, man. I'd be in class. Would you just knock it off? <laughs> but dude, Stop. It was the, I missed a whole year of math class because I was be like, <laughs> I would just be like, I have to look. And I'm pretty sure she was aware of it and would just be kind of like, and pop back up. I, would, I think I got caught a million times just being like. Does she live for that? I don't know. I, I never got the sense. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, dude. But that was on, like, man. well, some yeah, of that them, was crazy. Some of them live for it, and some of them are uh, they're so comfortable being like the most mature person in the room that they let their guard down. A little. That's what she struck me at. She didn't strike yeah. me as she was in. I think she would be like, look that, but that one's sexier to see. It, it, there, it was such an erotic thing. Yeah. It, it was like I don't know. It, it was it's such a hard thing to describe. I don't get the feeling that she was kind of like. I think she would be like, oh Jesus Christ, these fucking guys. She would stand back up and just bore us to death. Yeah, so so we had we had we had two versions. We had one that was a, a titty show off. Yeah. And we had one she had titties, but she wasn't necessarily showing them off. But this is at a time in our culture where button up shirts for women oh, would always have oh, that oh. one gaping window that you could like see through it. So she had the a Britney Spears window. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of that going on. You know, so yeah. it was like I mean, she wasn't like she was more of a buttoned up lady, so she wasn't trying to shut it off. But that was like factory defect. Yeah, you catch a bra through a button on a shirt. Bro. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm to the stratus. That's IRL. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Dude. Oh fuck. And, and honestly, like I prefer like in the other one, she like had ridiculous cleavage, and she would like lean over top of your desk to come talk to you and stuff. I twitched. Just I twitched. swang them things. Twitch, on twitch you. confirmed. Yeah. So uncomfortable. I so uncomfortable. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Well, yeah, there were a lot of teachers. The guy teachers who do it are truly another. Should we all? Should we help each other all maintain erection until the end of the episode? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Talk more about sluts. Keep each other up, yeah. Dude, seeing just the corner of a nipple on one of those ladies, wow. Dude, there's, and that's the thing. There's almost not a corner, but a sluts. sliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's too much. Yeah, that's. Dude, I remember I was in Brazil and a lady got out and she didn't realize her. Uh, like the waves had actually knocked her top completely off, mm. but it, they were like there was here, so she still felt the strap on her, but her tits had both come out. Wow! And I was just sitting there like, and her boyfriend was like, no, 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 he started yelling at her, <laughs> and she was like, oh my god, it was there was like seven just glorious, it was crazy. Wow, man, it was pretty tight. I remember just being like, that was cool. Sprung. I was twenty one. I remember just being like, that was tight. I saw that. Did anyone else see that? No. All right, that was pretty cool. Nice. Pretty cool, but. Whew. Yeah, we shouldn't all get each other hard this whole time. <laughs> It'd be very weird to leave once a week and be like, ah, I gotta leave. Me and my buddies are gonna get each other hard. Yeah. <laughs> talk, get each other hard. <laughs> yeah, man. A freak wardrobe malfunction in the wild is like a gift. <sighs> yeah, I yeah, just... I have been a good boy. Thank you. Dude. Thank you, the sun. <laughs> True. Dude, my, my uh, older... Actually, the moon, the moon gives me more than the sun. I get gifted by the moon. Dude, yeah. outside of helium, like, so people go to smoke outside of helium and they'll sit down and they'll be wearing these, like, the dresses with these straps. And I don't know how it happens, but when they stand back up, the one strap will fall off their shoulder. And a lot of these dresses, they can't wear a bra because of the way they are. And you'll see a tit pop out. Yeah. Dude, it's like, thank you, the moon. Dude, that kind of rules. I spent an entire summer as a kid. My, my older wigger brother had this girlfriend who, at the time, I, was the hottest woman I'd ever seen. Uh -huh. Giant boobs and looked like Vicky Valancourt. And I was just like, we had an above ground pool and I spent the entire summer just like in, in like the back room of the house was the laundry room, just like very slowly unloading the dryer while they were in the pool, just waiting for these things to come out. Oh my God. And my brother was a confirmed wigger. So he was constantly roughhousing with her in the pool. And one day, dude, I'm pulling the towels out and both flop out. And I went, oh my God, fine. I felt like I finally exhaled after like <laughs> three and a half months of holding my breath. I, dude, honestly, it felt like I slid out of a cocoon. Oh it my was, God. It was an absolute watershed moment in my life. Yeah, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> there was no going back. No, nah, that was it. I crossed the Bubicon. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell your bro that you peeped? No, we were never very close. Really? Yeah. Dude, I, I have an unsettled thing, like, 
mythic boob experience that uh, well I'm, so there's these people that moved across the street from us and the chick was changing she would get out of the shower and dry off in front of a window that didn't have shades and ansley saw her titties twice and she told me she was like you know if you stand here at a certain time of day you'll see our across the street neighbor's boobs. What? And I went there the next day. It's like day. a Legend of Zelda side quest. Dude, you right? <laughs> Dude. Dude, I, I went the next day yeah. and she had curtains. Oh, yeah. man. Dude, I think about that every fucking day. Every time I see that. Wow. House, anytime me and Ansley are standing outside of the house together, I'm like, remember when you fucking got me all edged up for that? <laughs> remember that remember remember when you probably knew she was going to get curtains and when told she me caught you second? staring at her tits and you ruined yeah. it for everybody exactly yeah for real you know, Anthony fucking is a go. fucking gazer yeah man yeah you gotta you gotta yeah you gotta be tactical about that yeah you gotta be she ruins it she she yeah i thought women just openly showed each other their boobs and pussy they do stuff. yeah yeah they just they're like surgeons yeah, they they'll can't, like, they like can't grab stop the doing that and shit. Like stick it up there and be like, do you feel my cervix? It's crazy. They fully have no shame. Yeah. They have, it's crazy. Like, they're, you want to get naked animals. and take a nap together? They're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is going to alter your guys' relationship? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what, to be fair, that's what they think podcasts are. True. <laughs> to be, yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, they would never dream of this. No, like, no, that'd be entirely uncomfortable to share my thoughts with my friend. Yeah, share my <laughs> share my actual thoughts with other women. <laughs> that'd be crazy. <laughs> God, they would kill each other. Yeah, you couldn't do that. Yeah, man, I do feel like there's something. There's like some like a little bit of glimmer taken off of sluts nowadays because there are so many people that either are sluts or like claiming to be sluts. It's like a costume now. Well, that's what I was thinking about in Vegas. They kind of really turned the juice up on like street walking hookers because it's like, you know, it's like, all right, well, we already were dressing pretty ridiculous. But mm-hmm. now that like women have like kind of met us a little closer to where we're at, it's like I, I heard there was a lady who just like bent over and showed her pussy. That's where you got to be now. At the festival? Uh, it was outside of it. Someone said they woke up in the morning and just like, well, like, you know that lady like bent over and they're like, oh. You know, they got a lady to suck gay blind Mike's dick on Legion of Skanks, right? Did they really? Do you not know about this? No. So on Dab Meet, we were going to, I don't, don't want to talk about this all week, but yeah, they got yeah. someone to suck gay blind Mike's dick under the table on stage. What? Yeah. And then they went back to a hotel room and he tried to have sex with her and failed. Failed as in? He couldn't keep his penis hard and he couldn't come. Yeah, Whatever. I mean, so a pressure, man. Yeah, there's a whole the 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 soup the intense interrogation of him about that is probably going to be on the next uh, you fucked it with uh, Brian Six and Ryan Chandler. They we did an episode. I was on that. I was on that episode, and it was entirely dedicated to getting information. Well, we had him on Dab Meat. He got a head under a table during a live performance. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys talked to him about it on Dad Meet? Yeah, we had him on Dad Meet, and we yeah. we made him tell us exactly what happened. And, and dude, he instantly developed pussy hubris. He was saying, like, I couldn't come, man, because she wasn't, like, good at it. And I was like, whoa, dude, you got to stop. What? Yeah, he was, and he also said that uh, he was complaining he, because uh, he kept, he said, you know, she kept, like, sucking the whole thing. And I was like, just stay up towards the t-. Like, dude, he was complaining about getting throated. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. But it was very funny. And Sam Talent was there. So don't, definitely don't miss the Skankfest Dab meet. Yeah, that'll be fun. Jesus yeah. Christ. When you get that file and release it. Damn. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I've been, I'm sorry, I've been ripping dude. ass so hard. Oh, that's I've the been, brotherhood. I've been silently fucking That's the order. Again. It is. Yeah. No, you're, I'm, sure, I'm sure the Dad Meat version is going to be way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it just, it just got Dude, wild you get to watch the crowd turn on him yeah because you get to watch 300 really people turn on gay blind mike <sighs> that's for, cr- that's for cr- complaining that this lady he said looked like troy palomalu from the back <laughs> yeah why yeah why did he, he started big time in her bro it was the wildest thing i've ever seen he got sent an angel dude yeah. an angel yeah. visited you that's wild but and yeah. he got picky well maybe uh, maybe that was a uh Dude, oh, and a, he got oh. The, uh, that's a lot of pressure to, to, to uh, true, lose your virginity true. that way with yeah, with the it's, with the, with Sid, the it's, it's truly horrible, Sid. And I was kind of quivering when I heard that. I went, oh, Jesus. Yeah, with the, like I mean, your atmosphere has like the weight of a of comedy festival. Yeah, in in the room when you're trying to perform the the the, the energy, no matter where you go. Even if they're not chanting, it feels like everyone's going, do it, do exactly. it, do yeah. it, and that feels like kind of maybe a breach of etiquette. 
to yes. put that pressure on someone yeah. and then put a wiener in their mouth. <laughs> dude. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why I do. I would say. Or, or force your, a guy to get a mouth on his wiener. That's what I'm, yeah. that's what I'm concerned Both about. ways, it's pretty fucked up. I was, uh, I was thinking uh, the other That's day. comedy, though. That's yeah. what you want to talk about the forces. Uh, what are the forces shaping the events and stuff? That's an immaterial force. There's a crowd of people going, dude. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? And let's also not forget that he was probably desperately wanting someone to suck on his penis. True. So. Yeah. But then you go, what's forming the force of those all those people going, do it, do it. The spectacle of seeing it done. Yeah. Now, I, those guys woke up that morning. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty thinking, sure they just want to see dudes hack each other to death with swords <laughs> in an arena. Yeah. But, like, that's been going. So now it's like. Now, that, that would be comedy. Sucking that guy's dick will be fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It would be entertaining. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was musing the other day about how it would be funny if uh, you would have if if people had to get a license to lose their virginity. Like you could have like a per, like your permit. You could well, what's get. the test? Fing is fingering your learner's permit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can well, <laughs> yeah, fingering a hand job. That's a learner's permit, right? Yeah. And you like the. I mean, it's like you just have to go through like an agent. What's getting your dick sucked? The driver's test? No, that's a different license. That's a class yeah, C. Yeah, you get a different, you get a special license for CDL. Motorcycle, motorcycle, license. motorcycle, 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 motorcycle endorsement. endorsement. Yeah, yeah, you could take the training course and they give it to you for free at the end. They suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> and they put that little M. <laughs> <laughs> and you get cheaper getting your dick sucked in insurance. True. I guess anal will be the CDL. <laughs> <laughs> That's a CDL, baby. <laughs> oh, man. See, I knew that would be fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. I knew that would be fun. Uh, yeah. Wow. Call I, me I the think, yard jockey. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think this has definitely been. Someone had it. Tell me if someone's talked about this before. But getting a uh, a a test for your level, your threshold for DUIs. So having basically like a, a drunk driver. A certification saying I can be this drunk and drive. Yeah, because we're all. There's mm. no way we're all tapping out with our skills. So you pass a driving test with your blood alcohol level. Yeah, your drunk driver point. license. I was getting. I was about getting a drunk driver's license. <laughs> like, why are we all under the out blanket of .08? It's like <laughs> yeah. we're all built different. I'm not. You and I's motor yeah. functions are going to cease. Different. We should all be tested in, like independently and be like, this is my personal. Uh, yeah. Nanograms yeah. per milliliter of blood of weed in my system and alcohol, blood alcohol content. Wow. That would be useful. It's bullshit. You get held. Everyone yeah. gets hold of the same bar in that regard. I'm like, that's fucking nonsense. <laughs> I, I it agree. It's totally arbitrary. I agree. So like, you're telling me, I get, like, especially when someone has like two beers and gets a DUI, it's like, bro. But I think that's what the field. Don't you always think that guy's kind of a bitch too, though. It's like, yeah, two beers got you a DUI. Did you ever hear about the guy who gets a DUI the next day? Yeah, they leave too early and get a DUI. Yeah. Bro, that shit sucks. Is that real? Yeah, I know a dude who at, at our senior week house. He he drove down. Got just ruthlessly bullied all night. Got hammered. And then in the morning went to leave and backed into a car. Cop comes, breathalyzer, DUI. Damn. <laughs> he was like, I can't wait to get out of this place. Fucking. <laughs> You're in so, fun prison for years. Dude, people were like running and two like drop kicking him in the house. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. It was so crazy. Dude, it would, now, if he had a drunk driver's license, they could look at his blood alcohol. And even though he did that crash... While intoxicated, if it wasn't above his number, they yeah, just the, blame it on the alcohol. Yep, they could have been like, "You're bummed." They can't blame it on the alcohol. They could have been like, "Bro, you're obviously very bummed." Accidents cause, happen because a lot of these bros <laughs> turned on you pretty hard. It was just a feeding yeah. frenzy. People oh, started turning man. on this dude for no reason. It became just like an it just became like a joke to do. But before people were like equipped with the sense of like this is devastating this person personally, and he just got like just crushed, dude. <laughs> All night. Wow. Crushed. Dude, I'm telling you, people that, were That DUI is probably a wake-up call. He's probably like, man, maybe I'm surrounded by the wrong people. I think so. Yeah. Hopefully. That was the best thing for him. I think so. <laughs> I genuinely think so. I remember somebody, like, jumping off a couch and jump-kicking him at one point. <laughs> it, was fucking, <laughs> it was insane. Dude, there, there was, I mean, there was a time growing up where, like, certain activities or certain behaviors in a person's life allowed for violence towards them. You yeah. know, like, I, yeah. I like throwing a house party, <laughs> dude. But, I mean, <laughs> this is you want to talk about the former wickedness, dude. Yeah, watching people's houses get destroyed at a house party, Bro. exactly, and laughing was just the worst. Exactly, dude, there was a time where we smashed all of their backyard furniture, and they had a box fan pointing into like the living room where everyone was, and me and my buddy took turns pissing into the box fan <laughs> that was spraying into the living room. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is funny. People just steal people's parents' shit. Just go, oh, I'm man. taking everything in this house. I, re I mean, obviously, I deeply regret these actions. For sure. 
That was, I was a kid. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know at the time. But yeah, I remember I remember seeing stuff like that of being like, dude, we should just destroy. You just get fucked up. It's so exciting. You're in someone else's house. And you're, everyone's you're laughing up. as hard as physically possible. Yeah, everything's <laughs> as fun as possible. It's like, yo, I'm going to take all their VHSs. And it's like, Tum. dude, you turn the ceiling fan on high and then open a brand new box of cereal and throw it into it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's really, it's all the stuff you you've wanted to do. Lucky charms. <laughs> yeah, it's all the stuff you've wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, well, I finally can do And you just fucking completely break. Because <laughs> you've been totally crowd your whole life. Yeah. Like, Shut up, go there, fucking go to good school, and you're just fucking, you're finally in the house. You're like, yeah, no ah, teachers, no ah, parents. Ah. Yeah, and you're like, oh, and there's no repercussions, I'm, so you can just leave. I'm Dude, that's, fucked that's, up off of Mike's hard lemonade that we begged someone to buy for us. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Uh, yeah, I would do that and like smoke like 45 bowls, and I'd smoke as much weed as I could to the point where I was like hunched over in someone's mm -hmm. house, like, <laughs> just watch people break stuff like <laughs> <laughs> yeah we had, we had we had somebody like at a house party find car keys and take a, like their parents car jesus it's a nightmare yeah legend they, uh donuts in, donuts in the parking lot oh my yeah. god dude yeah that's was that what, what was year it was a it? neon by any chance no nah, it was a nice car it was like Ooh. a fucking uh like it was a luxury vehicle was this when the big timers one. were big I don't remember. I don't remember. Did the rollout Dude, video? All I remember is thinking, man, these parents are going to be so pissed to find out that these people were doing way cooler shit in their car than they would have ever done. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like that. That's always my... Well, they also have to replace two of their $800 tires. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For that reason, though. Yeah. For sickness that they would have never done. Was somebody parking lot, parking lot pimped in their vehicle? <laughs> Hitting donuts in the parking lot is parking lot pimping. It's talking about pimping, you think? Talking so? about pimping, yeah. Or pop up the doors, show the screens on the TV. And my buddy got hit by a car in kindergarten and received a settlement when he was eighteen. He instantly bought a Durango, and we would just do parking lot donuts in it. Did you really? Yeah, he took it down and street raced it and shit. That's awesome, dude. We we definitely got up to some parking lot PM in, in it. Parking lot PM is the best, dude. White losers. <laughs> Dodge Durango. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have someone in the snow go and then pull the e-brake and then you just go? Oh, uh, yeah. It was pretty fun. Yeah, we would spin through get the, the one intersection getting off of 95 at Aramingo Ave. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Yeah, I do that with my buddy who uh, eventually killed his wife and now he's in prison. Damn. <laughs> that's no good. My brother knew yeah, someone great. who was in a parking lot, parking lot pimping, doing donuts in the <laughs> snow, and he hit one of the, you know, like a parking spot has a concrete, like, block. Yep. He didn't realize it was there Bullards. in the snow, hit it, and just cracked his axle. It was just mm. fucked. Yeah. That's awesome. I think he hit it, like, sideways. I don't know what it did. My brother said, like, it completely legend, fucked legend. up. Legend. That's legend shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love the kids in school who were, like, legendarily bad and just blinked right out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> came in for one day. Yeah. Like, it was just like, dude... <laughs> What is this dude? And they would just never be back. You'd be like, "What happened to that guy?" Dude, there was this uh, in elementary school. This we got this new kid. His name was Scott. Now, when I was growing up, people called me Scotty. That was my uh -huh. name. This new kid was coming. His name was Scott. And I was like, they told us what his name was beforehand. And I'm like, sick. I'm gonna make friends with somebody else that has my name. Nice. Got there. We were friends instantaneously. He showed up dressed like uh, the bully from The Simpsons. He had like a denim vest on. Nelson? With, yeah. But Whoa. he was like cool. He was like cool as fuck. Big overbite that stuck out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. He only, actually, he did. He was kind of like, uh, he, I, I always, he reminded me, because Simpsons weren't out at this time, so he reminded me of one of the um, characters from Fraggle Rock that lived at the garbage heap. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was like one of those characters. And, uh, Dude, he fucking lit a firecracker, a firecracker in the hallway. Oh, dude, he was, he just, so dude, cool. he came in basically kick flipping on a skateboard, drinking like you who's in, he would like drink you's in Bro, class. Bro, that's oh a, my God. dude, he was the fucking man. Yeah. And he lit a firecracker in the hallway and got kicked out of school forever. You who was truly bad kid juice. You know what I mean? <laughs> you who truly was bad kid juice. Uh, uh, like imagine you're that was in gummy like fuel for fucking fifth bad grade. kids. And you look over and you see a dude crack open a U like in a denim vest with the sleeves wow. like frayed, crack open a Yoo-Hoo and start chugging it in class in front of a teacher. That's, That's a Pauly Shore character. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Why? He was wheezing the juice. <laughs> dude, cracking a Yoo-Hoo in front of a teacher is total disrespect. Dude, Scott like, was the man. Yeah, clearly. Yoo-Hoo was so delicious too. Oh yeah, I was I was a big I was a big Yoo-Hoo guy. guy. It was my treat. Yeah, yeah, that was what I drank instead of water for a couple of years. <laughs> we, started, yeah. <laughs> we started going to <laughs> when I became a thick baby boy. That will that is that's the formula. 
that's a teenager formula, dude. It's you who's. <laughs> I went to uh, we when we first started walking the Wawa by ourselves. That was like an absolute. That was like one of the best things I've ever done. We go to Wawa. Independence of just being able to pick a snack at well, any given time. We would steal. We would steal them. We would yeah. go into Wawa, chug you chug a drink in the aisle, stuff like four king size candy bars in your pocket, <sighs> and then buy like a thing of Tic Tacs or Mentos just so it wasn't obvious. And like one of your friends back then, they used to keep the uh, tobacco low, like on the counter. So like one of your boys would fucking snag like a pack Ooh, of Black and Wilds, damn. and it would just it would be you would all dude. We did this almost like this every bad boy day. central. Mm -hmm. It was so fun. We'd wow. walk a while, and then we'd knock all the milk crates on the side and run away. <laughs> <laughs> and then munch candy bars, and like, dude, you'd, I'd smoke like a Marlboro Red and be like, dude, this fucking rules. It does. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be dying and be like, dude, I love these things. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd feel nauseous instantly and be like, uh, this is part, this is the buzz everyone's doing. <laughs> I've never had a good reaction to cigarettes. Every yeah. time I smoke them, I get nauseous. And be no. Like, I guess this is cool. Dude, I'm I used right, to, I I used to busy. escape and, and drink soda. Because, like, I wasn't, uh, there was so much fear of diabetes in my family because we're, we're my... Everyone had diabetes. <laughs> well, not, so not, not, not everyone, but the I people know. that had it, it was fucked up. Like, there was oh, a guy God. at my grandmom's house that lived in a hospital bed. Oh. You know what I mean? It was like, uh, this is my dad's mom's house. He, he fucking lived in a hospital bed in the living room. Oh. Shit in a bag. Terrifying, dude. Yeah. And it was like, he, he still had people sneak him shit. Dude, that is the harshest vibe possible. Yeah, by the way. So, a hospital bed in house and walking in and being like, <sighs> it's it's fucking horrific. And it's you know I'm not like making fun of people who are no, it's a horrific. House, but it's I, I remember going in as a kid and you just go, <sighs> mm -hmm. sucks the air out. Of well, you and you don't want to breathe because you're you, it smells like you're shit. inhaling death. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like this dude's shitting in the back in the yeah. living room. It's jarring, it's terrible, it's jarring. That's you know, a whole all because childhood. he can't stop eating Kit Kats. I know, bro. Like bro. that's why this. And then uh, give him a break, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but so, so anytime, so anytime, my, any, anytime my mom noticed me pee two times within the same hour, <gasps> she'd be like, "All right, no more." Like she would like ban all soda because like that, like peeing frequently is a sign of diabetes. Yeah. So sweet smelling pee, I think as well. Yeah, I never smelled it, but never smelled your pee. No, nah, I mean like not for purposes of finding out whether or not I was diabetic. I'm talking it wafts up. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. your pee talks to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think my mom was smelling it. She was just like watching me go to the bathroom for sure. Like, right. So like, a, I couldn't. I, I I was never allowed access to soda. Yeah, because it was like such a thing. So I would like sneak off, go to the firehouse with fifty cents. All you needed, put it in the vending mm -hmm. machine, mm -hmm. and just fucking hide out in the corner and crack soda. Crush a soda, dude. That was so sick. We had a hard and fast rule in our house: no soda before uh, noon. Mm -hmm. if you were, if you were or like after 8 p.m. either. Yeah, true, true. Well, if it was pizza night, it was on. Every, you yeah. watch TGI, I fucking yeah. crush and put Dude, so I could only drink soda on Thursdays because the other days of the week, my mom had narcs at the firehouse that would tell my mom if I got a soda. Damn. Yeah, they were like diabetic, like people related to me that were like diabetic, like related to my dad's side. You had town diabetes watch? Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. crazy. That's so yes. funny, dude. Dude, it fucking sucked. It's so funny, but it is funny hospitalizing yourself on like butterscotch crimpets. Yeah. Just being like, oh, oh. Yeah, mine would have been honey buns. Yeah, they're pretty fucking yeah. good. I got yeah. ratted out on a couple of honey buns. Did you really? Is that why you have such yeah. a forbidding sweet tooth? It might be. Could be. Because it's it not like I wasn't one of those kids that had fucking soda in their baby bottle. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like from my mom. So like I got hooked early. Yeah. And then she cut me off in the heyday of sweets. Dude, I was you go cold turkey. Dude, I wasn't allowed to have Wait, sweets. Wait, did you say during... you did have soda bottles when you were Yeah, my not? mom that that that's my family. My family does that shit. Got you. But then, I saw someone dip a pacifier in McDonald's barbecue sauce one time and give it to their kid and I was like, Yeah, Damn. my family does that shit. And I got cut off of sweets when Dunkaroos came out. <sighs> Bro. Dude, I didn't have Dunkaroos until college. Dude, the block was so hot back then. Yeah. The Dunkaroos <laughs> hit, everyone lost their minds. Dude, <laughs> I was. Although yeah. a lot of nobody, I've never seen anyone make it to the last couple of ruse with any yeah, icing. Yeah. No, make, the make, icing was going. Make no mistake, I I had Dunkaroos, but I never had like access. Dude, when I was in college, I kept Dunkaroos on me. Did you? Yeah, you open up my fucking closet, the sickest snacks. <laughs> Just kind of tight. I never, I never lived in a house that I like. Even if uh, I had the snacks, so when I lived my um, with my mom, my my, my dad at my dad's house with my dad and my stepmom, mm -hmm. they had a fucking padlock on the snack cabinet. Yeah, That's like buying spray paint at Home Depot. 
you need an employee to come unlock it for you. Basically. How would you, how would you do it? Would you be like, yo, guys, you mind uh, grant me access? Or like, what was the deal? Can I get help? I mean, that's here? what it was supposed to be. Yeah. You know, but I learned how to pick the lock. Really? Of course. You could pick a padlock? Yeah. Back then, yeah. I'm, they're a little different now, but I could probably still do it. Yeah. What was the mode? What's the mode of entry? I would use a bobby pin. Yeah. And then you would, uh, there's a, a little click thing you push up on the top and a click thing you push down on the bottom and you get them both and then you turn it. Sick. Yeah. So it's pretty, uh, pretty tight. And you go to the snacks. Yeah. 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 I, I we had a pretty, uh, you, you boys are over an hour. Okay. We can stop. <laughs> we can go. Should we keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. I used to keep a, uh, I got nowhere to be until dad meet. Yeah. What time is she? Yeah, I got to set up for dad meet. What time oh, yeah, is it right yeah, now? Yeah. We're getting oh, kicked out. Danny's got to turn over the tables. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <let's laughs> that was a big kick out. Yeah, he's like, all right, guys, yeah. no more water. <laughs> no more water. Yeah, we paid for two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're out of coffee. We can't do refills. Sorry. <laughs> well, wow. Fairly well. <laughs>